Hey guys, Alberto here. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how tired I am right now and how it doesn't matter at all. You know, it's Friday afternoon. We release these every Friday. This week snuck up on me, been super, super busy this week. It's been an amazing week, by the way. I think it's a record week. Haven't tallied it up yet. And it's the end of the week. It's Friday afternoon. It's not that late, really. Poor me. Oh, five o'clock exactly. Five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Um, and I just want to sit here and relax. I'm taking the good view today. Usually I show you this view. This is what I'm looking at. Just looking out to the ocean. There's the pool you usually see me at, right? Um, taking the good view, just relaxing here. And that's all I want to do. It's like, man, I never shot my YouTube video for the week. I don't want to do it. And you know what? It doesn't fucking matter. I learned this from Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone starts every day. He says he gets to his office and his assistant gives him his schedule. And he just bitches for like five minutes. He gets it, oh man, I don't wanna do that. And he looks at the schedule, oh, screw that guy. I don't wanna meet with that guy, he's an asshole. Oh man, I don't wanna meet with her. No, I don't wanna do it. And then buckles down, he just does it all. Now this is Grant Cardone. He's a self-made multi-billionaire now. And he's still doing things every single day that he doesn't want to do. And I feel like today people are more entitled than ever, right? Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, I don't enjoy it. Oh, it makes me uncomfortable. Who cares? Who cares if it makes you uncomfortable, right? Maybe the appointment is on the other side of town. Maybe there's traffic. Oh, I don't want to drive all the way to the other side of town. I don't want to drive an hour to where the appointments are. I don't want to drive three hours to where the appointments are, right? Maybe you're smiling and dialing and you got to dial for eight hours today. Oh, I don't want to dial for eight hours today. Guys and gals, we have to do the things that we don't want to do. The good thing is that successful people do the things that they don't want to do, that they don't like to do, not because they like them or enjoy them at all, um, but because they know it's what it takes to get the job done, period. So we do it anyways. So this week's gonna be kind of a short one. I will weasel out a bit, a little bit, but maybe on Monday, you're looking at your week or you're looking at a bunch of, again, phone calls right now. You're still doing business the old way. You're still driving in the car, having to get dressed up, all these things that you don't wanna do, but you have to do them. We all have a certain level of time or a certain amount of time where we have to pay the price. I talked to somebody, I'll close with this. I talked to somebody today that's been in the business for 23 years, 23 years. And the reason they didn't get started with us is because they thought they had to do too much work, put in too much time up front. They needed something with like no effort, um, no time and results now. And I told them, dude, you've been focusing on that for 23 years on just doing stuff for the short term, doing stuff for today, instead of planning and laying a foundation for the future. You've been doing this for 23 years and you're still looking for a way to generate leads, a way to generate business. 23 years in, if you could go back in time don't you wish that you would have planned then for today? He said, yeah, but he's still, but not today. I need something right now. And so again, it doesn't matter whether we want to do something or not in business. It doesn't matter whether we like to do it or not. What really matters is, will this get me closer to my goals? That's it. Everything we do, every action we take either moves us closer or farther away from our goals. So does this get me closer to my goal? Yes or no? Bob Proctor taught me this. And then the second question is, does it violate the rights of others at all? No. So if the first answer is yes, it moves me closer to my goals. And the second answer is no, it doesn't violate the rights of others. Then immediately we must take action and we must do it, even if we don't want to. All right, everybody. So I hope everybody's having a happy Friday. I'm gonna go back to enjoying my Friday and we'll see you on the next video.